In this problem, we're told a 7,700 kilogram boxcar traveling 18 meters per second strikes a second car. The two stick together and move out with a speed of 5 meters per second. What is the mass of the second car? So what I did here is we have the initial and we have the final. So what do we have going on initially? Right? So we have this one car, 7,700 kilograms, traveling 18 meters per second. Right? And then we have this other car that's going 0 meters per second. Right? So this is before it hits. Right? So before the collision, this is what's going on. And so they're going to hit, and then what's going to happen is they're going to combine, basically. You want to imagine them as like one object, and then they're going to move at 5 meters per second in this direction still. Right, so this is what we know what's going on. And so the way we're going to solve it is by using the law of conservation of momentum, which basically tells us the momentum of the initial has to equal to the mo uh, momentum of the final. Right, so what is momentum? So we know momentum P is equal to MV. Right, so if we want to find the momentum initially, it's just going to be the momentum of the two cars added up. Right, so we have two objects, we just got to add their momentum, and that's going to be the momentum in the beginning. So it's just going to be M. We're going to call this uh, 1, so M1V1 plus M2V2. Right, and then it's going to be equal to the momentum at the end. So it's momentum at the end. So since they're one object now, we don't have to write them separately. So we're just going to say they're one object. Right, so what's the object's mass? Right, so what's the mass of this object? Well, it's just going to be 7,700, right, or the mass of this one, right, plus the mass of this one. I'm just going to write M1 plus M2 for now, but when we actually solve it, right? And then what's the final velocity? So it's moving as one object. So instead of having two separate velocities, it's just one velocity, right? And it's 5 in this one, but we'll just write V final for now. So since it's like this, we can just start plugging it in. Right, so what's the mass of the first object? We're going to say this is the first one. So 7,700 multiplied by its speed, which is 18, plus the mass of this one, we don't know. But notice the velocity is 0. So when we multiply by 0, it's just still 0. So really, the momentum of this, uh, the initial stage is just uh, this car, right? Because this one's 0, so it doesn't have momentum, right? Because velocity is 0, meaning momentum is 0. Plus m1, m2. So m1 is 7,700. m2 is just m, because we actually don't know what it is. So that's what we're solving for. So plus m, and then we multiply by v final. So what's its velocity? Its velocity is 5 meters per second. Right, and we've got it like this now. So all we have to do is solve. So do 18 times 7,700, right? If you go ahead and do that, you'll get 138600 equals 7,700 plus m times 5. So you want to divide by 5 next. So when you divide by 5, you'll get 27,720 equals... 7,700 plus m, and then minus 7,700, right? So, and then when you do that, you'll just get m equals, and then right, because we just have m left. I'm just moving it to the other side, though, is 20,020. So 20,020, the units are going to be kilograms, right? Because we measure mass in kilograms. This was measured in kilograms. So m is 20 or 20,020 kilograms. So this box car is this is its mass but yeah so this is gonna be your answer and hopefully you found this useful